The DLR Institute of Structures and Design is advancing lightweight composite storage vessels for cryogenic hydrogen in aviation and space. To understand the demands placed on these vessels during different flight scenarios, simulations of structural loads and fluid dynamics are carried out. With this data in hand, manufacturing can move forward, leveraging advanced automated fibre placement to build large-scale components from thermoplastic composite materials. This additive process offers exceptional flexibility in shaping geometry. Complex surf surfaces, like fuselage sections or pressure vessel domes, can be precisely manufactured. Moreover, engineers can freely tailor fibre orientation and laminate thickness at a local level. This enables the creation of lightweight, load-optimised structures, which are ideal for seamless integration into modern aircraft designs. Advances in hybrid joining, combining thermoplastic and thermoset composites, are opening the door to multi-material designs that harness the unique strengths of each material type. Our welding system offers maximum flexibility in following complex geometries. It allows virtually any two matching components to be joined, whether flat, curved or even fully enclosed circumferential seams. Targeted testing of small and medium scale components provides invaluable insight into material suitability and the impact of manufacturing on prospective vessel structures. In the Institute's cryogenic permeability facility, the diffusion of gas molecules through vessel wall samples can be measured, even at temperatures approaching absolute zero. Advanced 3D optical measurements capture the manufacturing signature of cryogenic vessel structures, enabling detailed comparison between design, manufacturing process and final product. Small deviations are recorded, digitalized and stored for reporting and further analysis. Through interdisciplinary research and extensive technological expertise, the DLR Institute of Structures and Design is helping to make sustainable, hydrogen-powered aviation a reality.